What's up, y'all? So I wanted to say this real quick. So Jag on Deny Page talking about Goomba, right? She And TJ right there just listening to this stupid ass shit, y'all. Right? She's sitting there talking about she used her son ashes to roll it up in a you-know-what. And he smoked it and she put some blood in it. And it's like, you did that for what? She was like, because we did a ritual. A ritual for what? A ritual so that we can, um, so that we could be together forever. Yeah, we did a ritual. He knows that. He knows that he stuck with me. She's saying this shit in front of TJ, y'all. Jack. Talking about she practiced voodoo or hoodoo or whatever do that the fuck they talking about. I'm like... Oh, do you know how that makes you look to even say something like that about your son's ashes to even just use your son's ashes to do some stupid ass shit like that I mean are you serious who does who who and people not supposed to look at you some type of way as a mother I mean that's just crossing the line you doing a little bit too much with your son's ashes you don't you're doing a little bit too much. That got me thinking, what else did you do with his ashes? Huh? Did you try to use it, you know, uh, for for your chicken instead of flour? You dip the chicken in the ashes to coat it, to fry it. I mean, like, it's so bizarre. You well, you can't put nothing past this psychotic ass bitch. What is she doing? And she's sitting there like and and they like, well, did did you do that to TJ? She's talking about there's no reason to do it with her. And he, Goomba, know the bond that we have. He has my DNA now. Jack, listen, you homeless, Jack. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you know, this is the last thing that's going to be on my fucking mind if I'm homeless, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got nowhere to live and shit. I ain't got no fucking car. My ass will not. The YouTube is the last. For, I don't give a fuck who talking about me on this bitch. I wouldn't give a goddamn who, how many people, who talking about me, when, where, how they talking about me. I wouldn't give two fucks. I'd be so in panic mode, anxiety. I be, I need to find a place. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, you home? I mean, you just sitting up here, just yeah, and you know, cause my husband, you know, and he did, and he took the oath, and you know, we did the ritual, yeah, and this, and you know, yeah, they need me, yeah. Uh, they say don't go get a job, and yeah, she talking about people saying go get a job. They are saying go get a fucking job. They are, cause you need to go get a fucking job. And her talk, she talking about, oh, well, I don't need to go get no job because I'm their job. So, yeah, uh, why do I need to go get a job? Just that, from, from what I see, shit, people have their regular jobs. I know I do. And they do this on the side. This is not a full-time motherfucking job. Ain't nobody on here full-time, you know what I'm saying, just got this as their occupation and shit. And this is what they do full-time. Maybe some of them because, you know, they probably make enough money where they could be able to do that, you know. But then who just would want to settle for that? Hell, I have to be making at least over 100000 a year to just, just choose this as my only source of fucking income. No, I would just stop there. That ain't enough motherfucking money. You're going to be doing something else. That ain't the... What, what are you so focused on other people? People are telling your ass to go get it. They making money, but you're not. That's why they telling you to go get a fucking job. TJ need to go do something. Put her to work. You just want her just sitting up under your ass all goddamn day. At least get this motherfucker a sign to hold. Yeah, we'll see. You doing it. You panhandling it, as they say on the internet. Yeah, go on and panhandle out there in them damn uh, Texas streets and shit on them corners. Yeah. Have her hold the sign while you sing. Go on and take Venice Beach out there to Texas and shit. Yeah, they be out there with their little coin um cans. And yeah, they'll do a little dancing. They be, they be showing out to you. be like, damn, they got talent. You walking on a little strip thing of Venice Beach. Then people be out there break dancing and shit. And be like, here, go uh, donate right here in this little coin box. Put your little quarters in there, your little dollar for you. You could be singing and shit. Yeah, moving your little short, stubby-looking ass around and shit. Can't even move half with your stiff ass. 
I'm looking at her trying to dance and shit. I'm like, this motherfucker needs to go and sit down some damn well, girl. You ain't got it. You must, I don't know if you had it before, but it, from the looks of it, you just ain't got it no more. Yeah, you don't. But you telling other people they need media training. But you need some dancing lessons. Media training for YouTube. You need, they, they need some media training for YouTube, huh? Girl, is you crazy? This mama said she smoked her son's thing to do a ritual with Goomba. I wish I would. Who would do that? It's already bad enough that the feeling of losing a child and then, you know, you have the ashes. You would want to protect the ashes at all costs. You would, you know, so many different things you can do with it other than the shit that she's been doing with them. And we're not supposed to look at you like something is wrong with you. Huh? And TJ just right here listening to this stupid ass shit. And Jack just irritate the fuck up out of me, y'all. She do. Last thing on my mind is to be on this bitch. Right here, if I don't have a car and I'm homeless. And then the people in the comments, y'all, talking about somebody in the comments like, tell her to get in contact with me. I got this free housing for her. I just talked to my friend. Um, it's available. She's so busy talking about some bullshit. Like her life is just peaches and motherfucking cream. You ain't looking at these comments, then telling people that they need to send a dollar to her. And then one person talking about, uh, you know, will she get a, a hotel in, in, in Houston or some shit like that. And she talking about, no, nah, I can't go to Houston uh, because of what I said about takeoff. What? Bitch, you are not in no place to be picky. That's why you need to stay homeless. You do. You really do. You need to stay motherfucking homeless. You living beyond your means. You can't be out here with no goddamn options and choices. And yeah, no, I can't. Yeah, no, I wouldn't get no place in Houston. But when I come out there, I'll, you know, contact y'all or some shit. And you homeless. And you on here asking people for a dollar on YouTube. You could get away with it a little bit. People really not going to know if they seen you on the streets doing it. But she want to panhandle on social media, y'all. That's her sign. Her sign that, that say, um, will you help me? I'll take anything that they be holding. You know, we'll wash your windows uh, for, for some change. You know, pump your gas. Or they just be at the corner just like, um, I really need help. Just donate anything. I really appreciate it. And they holding a the sign up and shit. Jack holding up the virtual sign, damn it, on YouTube doing this shit. And TJ just right there, right along, just listening to this shit. And you just okay? Like, you just, you don't feel no sense of urgency or, you know, I need to, um, nothing. And you just not going to tell T. I'm pretty sure TJ, you know, work had a job before. She could go find her another little cool little job out there in Texas. But you don't want to be left alone. Because why the fuck you, she not going to go get, well, you know, to her, she should, you know, I got to go, I'm finna go get a job. Who was she now? Goomba was your quote unquote bodyguard and protector, right? And your driver, right? Huh? So what is what is TJ? We ain't never have we heard her give TJ her uh you know description her job duties. We ain't heard that. What is TJ? Huh? Is is TJ just what just there to just be your companion, just to keep you company, huh? They got the old men who pay you know women just to you know talk to them and keep them company and shit. This is is this what TJ is, Jack? Y'all. This motherfucker is nuts. Crazy. I can't believe that she just okay with her situation. She, and, and she's still getting on here, y'all. Cause I can't believe that she, and, and, with all this going on in her life, 
that she would be worried about another motherfucker or even give a fuck about the next motherfucker. Huh? Then she not even doing it. I can't believe that she not even hustling hard, even on here to try to get no money like that. She really not hustling like that. She just, you know what I'm saying? Even the way she hustle is just like kind of like... Even even the motherfuckers who be pushing the baskets and the homeless homeless, right? They even know, seem like they know how to hustle a little harder than her. So I guess she just okay with like again that little check that that TJ is getting or something. And you just on the panels and shit. You just panel hopping, just like. Like, you just at home chilling, you know what I'm saying? You just Friday, you know, you got your little weekend coming up. You ain't got to be going to work and get busy until Monday. You just hopping on panels. Yeah, uh uh-huh, yeah. Girl, your whole life fucked up. You lost every motherfucking thing. Don't even seem like you even thinking about starting over. Because you got to start over. Yeah, when are you going to start thinking about starting over? Use the first steps. Of, okay, well, I got to start over. This is the first thing that I need. Let me go on and try to focus on that. Huh? TJ up in there having to listen to your stories, and you talk all motherfucking day long. I know damn well you're not listening to her. And the only time you is listening to her is when she's telling you about that son, about Naisha's son. That's the only time she got your ears. Yeah, other than that, she just want to talk. You ain't listening to that shit. You cutting her off. You trying to hurry up, get your point across. You trying to give her advice. Ain't no, ain't no dialogue going on like that with you, you and you and TJ. And y'all both in this situation like this. Now this is crazy, y'all. And they ain't even got no kids or nothing. So what is so hard? What is the problem? Remember I said in the last video, I hope these motherfuckers on here stop helping her. I do. Call me whatever the fuck you want to call me. I want them to stop helping her. I do. I really do. Yeah, I want to see if she can do this shit on her own. Because the person in the comments told me, yeah, I got this housing. If you call me, you know, I got it. They say it's available. And the only thing that you could do at this point is get on YouTube to tell people that you homeless. To get on here and tell people that you homeless. You was homeless even when you was living in a... Just because you got kicked out of the hotel uh, today don't mean that you wasn't homeless before. You been homeless. Did you forget? Uh, Did you forget that you was homeless even before you got kicked out today? Whatever hotel you stayed in last week, if you wasn't one, you was homeless then. When you was living in that lady house, you was homeless. You was still, still homeless. Huh? Jack, really? But you think that this ain't worth talking about? Like, you know, the girl, you out here acting a whole fool. Y'all can't believe this shit. What is wrong with her? I'm like, what is wrong with her? And she just still can't stop talking about Goomba. I, I would love this. What's TJ doing right there? Just was, I just love to see her facial expressions and shit. What's she doing? Imagine they outside and shit, talking on the panel. You just outside talking on the panel. Hmm. You just outside. You don't know where you're going to go. And you just on, on YouTube on the panel and shit. Why TJ just sitting there just scrolling through the little comments and shit and that hot ass heat out there. Because when she got kicked out, all she did was just sit in front of the hotel. It's not like they was walking nowhere. It was like, we got this other one. Let's go right here. She was just sitting right in front of the damn place that they kicked her out of, just sitting outside, talking, smoking a cigarette. And TJ just sitting right next door, looking stupid and shit. Looking stupid than a motherfucker. And you just running around with this motherfucker, getting kicked out of places and shit, ain't got nowhere to go. And you just... Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Even though this is other, again, even though this is other people's jobs, you know what I'm saying? Shit, they hustling harder than your motherfucking ass, I tell you that. And look, if you don't want, listen, 
And if you talking about, oh, they need me. If they didn't have me, then they wouldn't this, that, and the other. And y'all, and she talking about, yeah, so you welcome for me putting food on your kid's table, this, that, and the other. All right, then, well, if it's like that, then get your ass off of YouTube. You're not making no money any motherfucking way. Yeah, why don't you take the fools out, food out of the kids' mouths? You don't care about the kids like that? Take the food out of the kids' mouths and get your ass off YouTube so that if that is, it will show if people really need you or not. We will really be able to see if a motherfucker needed you or not. Come on. I dare you. Yeah. Go on and get off YouTube so we can see if we're going to talk about something else. Huh? And I hate when these motherfuckers get on here, you know, just talking about all on our page. And they talking about, yeah, you know, talking about somebody else's page. Now, I know he don't get along with the other two content creators as far as Shonda Wayne King Payne. So he's going to say whatever he's going to say. But y'all never hear me get on here talking about no other ever. Where I'm like, yeah, uh huh, you know, they need to come up with some more content. Like, they, why they using that content and, you know, content this and why they, and just worried about another motherfucker page and shit like that. People gonna do what they content they wanna do on their motherfucking page. What is it? What are you worried? That never even crossed my mind. I'll be worried. I'll be thinking to myself, why is the next motherfucker worried about, huh? Oh, yeah, they just always talking about Jag. Yeah, they ain't got no other content to talk about. If they don't wanna talk about no other content, then they don't. Then they don't have to talk about nobody other content. What the fuck? Jag is the content. She wanna be the content. We wanna talk about her stupid ass all day long, every day, for the next six months straight, and not talk about nobody fucking body else. Then that's just what the fuck they gonna do. They see them checks going up talking about her stupid ass. The only one who check ain't going up and money ain't going up again shit from this shit is Jag's stupid ass. So of course they finna keep talking about her. Because again, it's sad when you get more money for fucking putting out, you know what I'm saying? Out here really telling the truth about Jag and with the fuck shit that she got going on and people want to hear it. You know, th that's crazy. You need to worry about so many motherfuckers not liking your ass and want to hear it and want to donate to people who own your ass. That ain't the content creator. It's the people who viewing it, the people who donating, the people who tuning in to this shit. Them, the whole, yeah, that's a mass of people right there, y'all. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of people. They just want to see the train wreck. I know I do, too. Shit. Seemed like Jack had the train wreck. Yeah, it seemed like she got 15 lives or something because the train done already wrecked. She all, she done got hit, broken legs and everything. And she still just limping her ass around like, damn, do you, where's, huh? when you going to just go on and just, just say, you know, all right, I can't do this no more. I just, oh, yeah, y'all tried that. I got hit by this damn train. I, I keep hitting you with the train because the train wrecking. Yeah. And your ass is just still just limping around and shit. He's like, damn. One of, like them, one of them annoying ass flies and shit. This motherfucker don't die or something. I swat the shit up out of this. Movie. Take your ass on then. So to see, we, we, you always want to prove yourself. Yeah, they think I'm lying. They think I'm lying. Remember I told y'all about this celebrity. I told y'all about that celebrity. Okay, well tell us and prove to us that we need your motherfucking ass. Okay, yeah. People can go and talk about somebody. Get off, and then you will see. Then come back on here and do a video, and we're going to see what you're going to say about that shit. Take your ass up off of YouTube for a whole week. Yeah, do that. You ain't making no motherfucking money anyway. Talking about everything she do on here is calculated. It ain't calculated too motherfucking much. Yeah, no, it can't be. Yeah, because your calculations is off then. If your shit's calculated, yeah, you need to go back to school to take up some math. Yeah, because I don't know what the fuck. The calculating, the cac everything is calculated. Well, the calculated, whatever the fuck you calculated, ain't calculating. How about that? Huh? Yeah, it sure ain't. Calculated my ass. Yeah, okay. Then they start telling her, well, you believe in God and you do the voodoo and all? She's like, yeah, I do both. Like, I believe in God and I still do that. And I, you know, and people know that I practice that. And, 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 and he's talking about you ain't did it on me or nothing like that, huh? Or, she don't know how to do none of that shit. She need to go do some voodoo on a damn uh, assistant manager at a fucking job or something. Go do some, go on and do some voodoo on a lotto ticket, a scratcher or something like that. Huh? Go on and do some voodoo on some money so I can bless yourself with some, huh? You, you know how to practice it so motherfucking much. Yeah, shit don't seem like that shit working at all.
seem like the only one that's working on is your motherfucking ass. I think that you're doing it the wrong motherfucking way because it ain't affecting no motherfucking body else but you. Goomba left. So I guess you did that voodoo wrong. Yeah, I don't know what you did when you did that. I guess you, it, it, trick, it, it just backfired on your ass. It sure did. Yeah, because you're the only one who seemed to be affected by this shit because uh, Goomba done moved on with his little life. Then she's talking about she going to go uh, steal. He better be where they talking about. They going to help him with a lawyer, this, that, and the other. You know, I guess for for the divorce, where they need to be helping with a lawyer, you know, because he finna go to jail. Jack, he been finna go to jail. You not finna put him in jail. You too lazy to do that. You don't even want to take your stupid ass down to the courtroom to do a simple-ass divorce to even go see if you married or not or nothing. You don't even want to go do that. You barely want to call in once a week to go and check in with your damn probation officer. And the only reason why you're doing that is because TJ right there reminding your ass like an alarm. You need her to remind you everything tell you what to do and hold your hand along the motherfucking way you can't do nothing on your own but yeah you want to get your ass out here like you just that bitch you're not baby you're not you're not we seeing that you're not you showing us that you're not and ain't shit calculated about what the fuck you doing at all it's not okay it's not you can't even take your ass to go down there to do the little shit that you was doing why you need to get your ass up out of jail and say, you know what, where's my car? Let me make some phone calls. First thing when people got out of jail, they trying to get their shit back. You know, even though it's a month, let me call and see where the car is, how much I owe. You know, they got it back. You know, let me see where about that car is and get that back. You know, make things, y'all, I need to do a dollar karaoke for, to get this car. I need to come up with this amount of money so I can go and get this car back out. You know what I'm saying? So see if they give it to me or something to try to do it or something. And she don't even want to make a phone call down there just to see, even though it's probably not possible that that can happen but even you just never know you know let me just go on the car and give it a try you know you trying something she get out of jail and don't try a motherfucking thing nothing nothing at all all the way i mean like girl again and i'm gonna say an end with this people people want you to prove them wrong show us your new place show us your new car show us that you're getting gigs that you backed up on gigs don't get out here just saying this shit people want to see that shut us up okay we not gonna have nothing to talk about if your stupid ass came out here and got a place we ain't gonna have nothing to talk about uh if your ass get out here and have a get a car we ain't gonna have nothing to talk about when we see that you uh still keeping this shit that it's not it's not a rent a car you know it's not somebody else's house that you living in you actually telling the truth about these things and moving on with your life and making these different steps to you know to change your life around it just to have the basic necessities in life ain't nobody gonna get on here and talk about you once they see that you really doing what you got to do what will it will be nothing to talk about nothing at all show us that shut us up yeah, let, let your people who follow you get out here and get on your page and be like, see, they was wrong. I knew it. Thank Jack. See, you done shit it on them. Man, you done shit it on them, Jack. That's what I'm talking about. That's right, Jack. That's why I always stuck by your side. I never left, Jack. I knew you was going to come up. That's Jack, y'all. That's Jack. Yeah, we was on her side. We never gave up on her. Yeah, we was always there for her and doing her good and her bad. Shout out to Jack. Yeah, y'all. Look at Jack at the, the Grammys. Look at Jack, y'all. Jack at y'all look at Jack in this feature. You know what I'm saying? With Drake. She doing a little little uh a feature with Drake, y'all. Oh, look at Jack. Damn, they just show a little 20 second clip of Jack in so and so video. Damn, y'all look, Jack doing it. Y'all talking about this damn lady like that. Look at Jack. We want we waiting on that. We, that's what we waiting on. We wait, we waiting for them reactions and shit. Make us look stupid and shit. But we get the honest people like. Well, she she did, you know what I'm saying? She, she hey, yeah, well, we don't know what to say. You see that? You, you get on here like, well, she she doing her thing, all right? Shit. Well, we'll say some smart ass, sarcastic ass, slick ass shit. Probably like, well, let's see how long this gonna last. Or, you know, throw a little of that in there. But other than that, what else could we motherfucking say? We can't say nothing else. Don't nobody really respect you like that. Then when you got so many people, masses of people who don't respect you like this, this is something, that's not nobody, that's something wrong with your ass. Not nobody else's. Not nobody else's. You need to sit back and say, well, damn. Shit, I'm not trying to be here, you know. I know I need to be confident and I need to stand in who I am, right? And I need to, you know, still hold my head up high no matter what. But God damn. Yeah. No, I ain't going to let them see me sweat. I'm not. I'm not. Okay, you don't. 
But damn, behind closed door, I don't see none of that happening. Where you actually just sitting back like, well, oh, shit, this motherfucker said that. Damn, they right about that shit. I ain't going to admit it. But we don't see nothing, not even a little bit of that coming from your motherfucking ass. Every time you get out here, you get worse and motherfucking worse. And we looking at you like, do this motherfucker really do Girl, you really do? Some, girl, something definitely won't show ass that. We be out here like, do she really, did she really just say that? Is this motherfucker really getting out here like she just got her shit together like that? Is you serious? Girl, if you don't get the fuck up out of here. If you don't get, why you can't go, um, why you can't go move in with, uh, with TJ people? Hmm. You you helping her out, moving her in with your people and shit. Huh? Why don't you tell TJ to make a little phone call, see if y'all could go stay with her little people and shit. Huh? Why you won't go do that? Hmm? Yeah, I know they ain't going to let your ass come stay there. Yeah, you tagging her along to your little people house and shit, getting kicked out with her and shit. Yeah, it, well, she now it's her turn. Yeah. She needs to go on and make some phone calls. Okay? Yeah. We know Jack ain't fun to do that. And if she did do that, yeah, she would definitely, we, ooh, I'll be tuned in to that. Oh, my God, I'll be tuned in. Imagine Jag moving in with TJ's sister. Imagine Jag moving in and TJ moving in with TJ's sister if she got one. Yeah, and they renting out a little back room and shit. Ooh, I'll be tuning in to them motherfucking live videos. And I'll probably sign up for her motherfucking coffee, too. Hell, just to just hear what's going on because I'm nosy to them motherfuckers. They be, that wouldn't last too long either. Okay, that wouldn't last too much. Fun. She had definitely been and got into it with them. TJ really, yeah, talking about, yeah, having the fucked up relationship with her family. Yeah, Jag will fuck her relationship up, even with them too. And and she probably already have. Now I wonder if TJ family looking at these videos. I want to know what they got to say about it. Yeah, I need somebody to go in and interview uh, TJ side of the family, see what they think about all this shit up on YouTube and who Jag with. I want to know what they got to say about this. Yeah, if y'all if y'all heard any interviews, because I don't have uh, Sean David Wake uh, Coffee or 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 whatever that other page is, the, the Notebook or whatever shit. Um, so, uh, <clears throat> yeah, if you heard him do any interviews with 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 TJ people, and I want to know how they feel about this relationship. Mm hmm. Why she, why Jack talking about yeah that the family didn't like Naisha? Shit, they might not, but I bet you motherfucking walk. I bet money that they not gonna like your ass either. Definitely for sure not gonna like your ass. They not. Mm-mm. Yeah, and, and I want to know too. Yeah, you know why? Why you know they talking about oh, uh, TJ can't get no place, Jack can't get no place because of their name. We know it's people who get around that. It's no, and not every place you move into is just strict like that. What they're following through. You can find you a little hole in the wall, a little place, you know what I'm saying? Where the manager will be like, okay, then you know, money talks. How much you got, whatever, all right, then we'll work with you. Okay. I'm pretty sure in Texas they have some managers like that up out there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Jag rather be homeless. Then that's the crazy thing about it, too. Jag rather be homeless than to go live, like, in a little shack or whatever in the hood. They'll tell her right now she go move into projects if they got projects out there in Texas. Yeah, Jag would move in and Jag would rather be homeless. Now, ain't isn't that motherfucking backwards as hell? Huh? Isn't that bad? And why do Jag still think that she is a celebrity? I don't understand that. You know she fucking gone. You know how people, you know them people who stuck in the 80s, stuck in the 90s? That's Jag. Jag stuck. Yes, she is. She stuck like a motherfucker. Jag, you really going around here talking about you a celebrity? You a celebrity, Jag? You're not a celebrity anymore, Jag. Like, are you serious? This is crazy, y'all. This shit crazy. But y'all tell me what y'all think about this stupid ass shit. Tell me what y'all think. I want to know. I wish somebody asked Naisha, how much money um, was that check that, um, why she getting out here talking about Naisha doing this and that? We need our shit. Pay Naisha some little cash apps to give us the fucking, yeah, I want to know how much that little check they getting every month. What TJ getting every month. I don't know how much that is. Mm, I sure do. I want to know. If anybody know and, and Sean David Ware or King Payne uh, confirmed it, put it in the comments. I want to know how much it is. Because mm -hmm. I know it ain't that motherfucking much. It sure ain't. And people's like, well, maybe she getting unemployment. Maybe she is. 
Maybe she is. But don't you have to do like a weekly, you have to still go and look for jobs and stuff like that to show that you're looking for jobs to, to keep getting the, um, the unemployment. And Jack just don't want to take her ass down there to even go and get her a little check. If Jack on medication, they'll give her back pay for, for SSI or them little mental checks that they be in. They'll give her back pay for that. So why is she not trying to go down there to the Social Security building and go and just get her a little check that she could be having? She ain't got to go work or do nothing. She ain't got to tell nobody that she doing it. Shit, I would love to know. She And she not finna go do that either. But you already talking about you finna put somebody in jail. You ain't finna put nobody in jail at all. Stop it. You're not. You're not. You're never going to do it. Um, Goon was not going to jail. You're not putting him in jail at all. You're not putting nobody in jail. You're not doing anything. Nothing. Nothing. Okay? I'm not just saying I'm... Listen. All right? You're not doing nothing. You're not going to do shit. You ain't putting nobody in jail. You're not reporting nobody. Nothing. You're not doing nothing. You're just talking. That's it. And that's it. Every time you see Goomba trying to come up or whatever, then you want to get out here talking about he finna go right back to jail. He finna go right back to jail for blowing up the car. He not finna go to jail for blowing up the car. He not. He not finna go. Then they talking about, she talking about, that's the reason why he left. Because of the voodoo that she did on him. Or that's why he didn't want to come back. Because he knew the oath and the ritual that he did. Well, in the beginning, you say he left because of the car. He left because he wanted to motherfucking leave. Yeah, because he was tired of your stupid ass. With your tired ass. He was tired of you. But now he left because cause he knew the oath and he stuck with you. And now he has your DNA. And girl, now how sick does that sound? Why would you even want to say some sick ass shit? Like he has your DNA, like he a family member. Then this motherfucker gonna say too, Goomba could be related to her or something because of his last name. It's because she got some Johnsons in her family. She said that when Legina was doing the uh, the uh, the reading uh, on her, I was like, did she just say that? Like she okay? Like yeah. So you you sick? You a sick ass bitch. Y'all ain't never seen no shit like this in my life. So what's he, Jack? I mean, what Jack doing right now? Just sitting outside, just on lives and shit. Hmm. I wonder if they went to go get them another little room. Just sitting up in a room and shit. You just, you ain't got no car. You just said. Then one of the girls on the video where she got kicked out was a white girl who gave her a hug, and Jack said, "Yeah, I I, I met you at the bar last night." Come to find out the night before, yet I guess last night is what she meant. She was at a bar. No, you just at bars. Y'all just wasting your money on bar. Like, are you? Mm. Now, you cannot tell me, TJ, that Naisha was worse than this shit. Not after she done bounced back this motherfucking fast. There is no way in hell you could get us to believe anything like that about Naisha. You just can't, no matter what the fuck you say at all. No, no matter what you say. We just, you, it just, you, we can't believe, we not going to believe that. You looking more like the person that you trying to blame Naisha to be. You looking more like that. We seeing you like that. You look like that. Not Naisha. Yeah, Naisha need to tell us how much that, I want to know how much that check is she get every month. Yeah, because Jack just using all that shit up. Jack using all that shit up. And there's no way in hell TJ can tell her, well, no, babe, we need to save this money. Save the money. Shh. She wasn't about to save her motherfucking mama money. She didn't save it even with her mama's $6,000 check or around that much if it was. Yeah, how you get evicted and you getting $6,000 a month and the rent is only $2,000? Is you serious? You you cannot put away $2,000? Are you serious? People who are, you just know to put that away. You got to. That's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You got to. When you get paid, you have to put the, this get paid first. This getting paid first. Sometimes you even pay some shit early just so you can have a little leftover for yourself for the next little check. Yeah, this going to be safe. I mean, this going to get paid first, this one. You know, on top, you got to have a roof over your head. That money gone even if you broke afterwards, even if you ain't got no motherfucking money. You know, at least you know you paid that rent. That's all that you just, as long as you know that you paid that motherfucking rent. Fuck everything else. Even if I got to go hungry, as long as I got a roof over my head, yeah, I'll shit, act like this motherfucking faucet water up in this bitch is some goddamn soup or something. Yeah, yeah, as long as the roof over my head. Yeah. 
But you hungry, homeless, carless, hopeless. Damn. Oh, goodness, y'all. Y'all tell me what y'all think. I can't believe this stupid ass shit. Y'all tell me what y'all think.